हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू ए आर एच डिजाइन अकेडमी आई होप यू आर आर डूइंग वेल सो इन द लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड आस्ट यू गाइज अबाउट वॉट यू गाइज रियली वॉन्ट इन टर्म्स ऑफ योर नाटा एंड जे डब्ल्यू प्रिपेरेशन बिकॉज द एग्जाम्स आर गोइंग टू हैपन वेरी सून नाउ वी डोंट नो द डेट ऑफ जे डब्ल्यू ई अटेम्प्ट येट बट वी नो दैट नाटा इज सपोज टू हैपन ऑन इलेवंथ ऑफ जुलाई सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू वेर प्रिटी क्लियर अबाउट वॉट यू वॉन्ट सो इट्स मोस्टली अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट मॉक टेस्ट मॉक टेस्ट so that's what we are going to focus on a uh, lot of you have been asking me about uh, the architecture aptitude part prominent building uh, building elements building materials uh, a little bit of mental ability uh, english passages uh, for some reason so i have a system where we will cover everything under one umbrella so let's get right into the video okay so here's what we are going to do i am going to give you a small mini test uh, every alternate day let's say 10 to 15 questions on every test and uh, i will not give you the answers to that test in the same video what i will do is i will discuss the test with you on the next day so the test i am going to give you today i will discuss it with you on tomorrow the question types i will uh, use such question types so that there is a variety of questions starting from building elements architecture aptitude prominent buildings plan based question passages mental ability riddles also and when i discuss that test with you i will expand on that particular question more so let's say i am giving you a question on let's say a prominent building identify a prominent building so i will give you more information about that test uh, in the uh, discussion video so you गेट द आर्किटेक्चर एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट एज वेल जो नॉलेज पार्ट का बात हुआ था वो भी हम उसी में कवर कर लेंगे प्लस दिस टेस्ट आर गोइंग टू बी आई एम ट्राइंग टू कीप इट टू एवरी ऑल्टरनेट डे सो लेट्स होप दैट वी आर एबल टू डू एटलीस्ट फिफ्टीन मिनी सच टेस्ट एंड आई हैव अ प्लान टू गेट मेक अ वन फुल मॉक टेस्ट एटलीस्ट वन सो दैट यू गेट एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ हाउ द एग्जाम इज एंड हाउ टू डू द्लान प्लानिंग मैनेजमेंट एंड ऑल सो दैट्स वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू Also, I'm going to give you one question each test because you have to prepare for your JWE as well. So that this is going to be our plan of action. And um, I had asked you to submit a few drawings in the last video, so we will do that first, and then I will give you the test. Make sense? All right, let's go. All right, so chalo, we will start with the drawing reviews. Now, this is the review of the drawings. Uh, of the question set that i had given you on 31st of may in the last video in that uh, set there were three drawings there was one 2d composition one 3d composition and there was one memory drawing so we are, we are going to start from memory uh, 2d composition so the question was create a 2d composition using four circles two rectangles and one square color using any three colors of your choice now this is the drawing given by meghna banerji now uh, see this composition uh, uh, when i say when i talk when i want to talk about this composition uh, the first thing that i notice that it doesn't have a boundary right i mean it is not designed according to a space it is not designed in accordance with a space like any outer boundary or something so let's say generally whenever in jwe you are using you are doing any drawing 2d composition mostly so you are supposed to take a, a box of 140 by 210 mm that is uh, 14 cm by 21 cm and whatever composition you will be doing or, or you will do this will be in according to this particular size now there was no boundary to this particular question so i can assume that this composition is going to be itna chota bhi ho sakta hai it can be this small also correct or it can be as big as this also right so whenever the first thing is whenever you are doing any drawing any 2d composition especially 2d composition please make sure that you are doing a box and the box has to be always 140 by 210 that is the standard size most of the time they mention it in the exam that this is the size but if it is not mentioned always go with 140 by 210 um okay also another thing that i notice is she has not used any intersection generally Uh, in any 2d composition we are supposed to do some kind of 
intersection something like this so i think uh, intersection could have been done unless and unless until they mention that they should inter uh, overlap or they should not intersect or they should only touch tab tak inter yeah, i think interaction uh, intersection is a very good idea to go with because it gives rise to very interesting shapes as well okay so out of 50 this would be around 20 yeah, 20 is good mark 20 ha yeah, 20 is good enough for this okay so now in this one particularly so in this one it also does not have any uh, certain uh, boundary this is this drawing is by abhay so uh, i have talked about the boundary part or the space part in this one i want to talk about the presentation see uh, a lot of people say that you know in 2d composition there should not be any uh, boundary or there should not be any outline or something but whatever you do they say he has drawn this line right तो ही आई मीन यूज स्केल यूज योर जोमेट्रिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट आई थिंक इन जेड आई नो इन जेड बिली दैट दे दे अलाउ यू टू यूज दिस स्केल एंड योर जोमेट्रिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट सो ये ऐसे हाथ से किया हुआ जब होता है ना तो वो काफी गंदा लगता है इट इट लुक्स रियली बैड बिकॉज इट इट डज नॉट हैव दैट प्रेजेंटेशन वैल्यू राइट सो if your presentation is not good the examiner is not going to take your composition seriously i mean if you have done a shabby composition the coloring is not nice or you know uh, something like this then the examiner il- will just not take your composition seriously and if he doesn't take your composition seriously why would he give you you know more marks so always please uh, use the outline 140 by 210 always and uh, th- this is my suggestion that no matter what use the scale or use your geometrical instruments to do the outline it makes a hell lot of difference so out of 50 this would go around you know 18 or something okay i'm a little rough on the marking part so please bear with me uh, this one is a fairly good drawing i i don't think this is 140 by 210 this is much kafi bada hai ye 140 by 210 se but the composition is pretty balanced kafi balanced composition hai the color scheme she has used is a proper color scheme that is a warm color scheme only thing i would uh, suggest deepthi uh, deepthi goel from up is uh, what you do is you try to do the outline to this isko ek bar outline karke dekho see what difference does uh, your composition make so out of 50 right now bef- uh, without the outlines i think it will go around 23 or something but maybe with outline it can go up to 25 let me show you a good uh, drawing so this is this is an 2d composition by one of my student chiara karnik she is a student of arcc 21 t3 batch uh, so see in this composition the composition whatever uh, arrangement of elements she has done it is specific to that particular uh, size only or that particular shape only if you take this particular composition and you put it in a square it's not going to work if you take this composition of this you know absolute value of the measurements and you take it in a bigger rectangle or a smaller rectangle it's not going to look as beautiful because it is designed for this particular size so this is a very important one plus you see every last square inch or every last square millimeter of the 140 bit by 210 space is colored so this is i think a very good drawing out of 50 uh, i would give it 35 to 36 these are sample works these are really good works then we go to 3d so 3d composition had a question of you uh, composition using four cylinders two cuboids and one cube now uh, what i feel about this particular composition is it lacks uh, contrast what do you mean by contrast is the uh, juxtaposition of things which are opposite to each other jaise see what i feel is every elements is of the same size or of the same uh, thickness so there is no uh, there is nothing for me to look for it just say for example in that in this composition if i add one element like this which has a contrasting uh, which has a contrasting uh, contrasting you can say uh, height so then that becomes an interesting one if you add me let's say a small element over here maybe a cuboid or you know something anything so then that adds that sense of 3d to it so you should go for contrast in the composition plus uh, i think if this one is uh, removed then the composition looks kind of scattered 
बट शैडोज आर डन शेड एंड शैडोज आर डन सो दैट्स आई थिंक अ रियली गुड थिंग सो आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी दिस वुड गो फॉर ट्वेंटी और समथिंग या ओके सो इन दिस वन नाउ यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फिजिकल इंटरेक्शन बट अगेन प्रेजेंटेशन में थोड़ा कमी है मेरे हिसाब से प्रेजेंटेशन कुड हैव इन डन बेटर आई मीन यू कुड डू द शेडिंग इन मच बेटर वे इट कुड हैव इन मोर प्लीजेंट सो आई फील दिस कुड हैव इन प्रेजेंटेशन पे काम करना पड़ेगा अब भाई तुम्हें एटलीस्ट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर दिस थिंग सो आउट ऑफ फिफ्टी दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू दिस वन इज बाय प्रणय फ्रॉम हैदराबाद सो आई रियली लाइक दिस वन बिकॉज इट हैज एट सेंस ऑफ डेफिनेटिवनेस इन द कंपोजिशन वॉट आई मीन बाय दैट इज वेन ही हैज यूज ऑल द फोर फाइव सिक्स वॉट एवर एलिमेंट्स यू हैव he has done something definitive something creative with that it is not like they are just placed on a table i mean in here also you see a very good interaction but i feel this one is more see basically i would consider this one more seriously because it has good presentation but one thing that this composition this composition doesn't have that this composition has is the shadows because whenever you will have light that's when you will have shade and that's when you will have shadow so you have to take into consideration the shadow aspect as well i'll show you some of the works by my students so this is by dashmi dharankar uh, rashmi dharankar uh, uh, see this is also a very scattered composition but there is lot of interaction going on between the elements you can see you know lot of inter physical interaction going on plus this composition has a very good sense of presentation i mean the uh, shading is done in a very pleasant way and it really looks good to the eye so Uh, i wanted to show you this one for the part, uh, for the presentation part so as according to me this would take around 26 27 out of 50 and this one is by uh, amruta gande she is also a student of mine rashmi is also a student of mine so uh, in this one you will see that uh, the composition has a very good sense of definition as in uh, it's very uh, simple to know i mean you can easily understand what is happening in the composition and whatever is happening it's very very interesting it has got that dynamic quality to it so i really like this composition i think uh, out of 50 this would go around 35 36 aaram se so this is a very good drawing as per me then we come to memory drawing so memory drawing is kind of a hard a lot of people think that it's a very hard subject it is not honestly but that being said uh, so the topic was to draw an art gallery now this is a drawing by meghna banerji again so see in this one i really like this one because it has a good sense of scale it has a really good sense of human figure a lot of, i mean this two are interacting which uh, is really good to know and scale and everything is good only thing i feel about this particular composition is it lacks the depth I mean, it has some depth, obviously, but if you have, if you uh, show more space, there is more possibility for you to show more interaction uh, within your human figures. Basically, okay. Let me show you another drawing. So, see this one. Uh, I think this is by Abhay. So, in this one, you have much more depth in the drawing. So, you have the opportunity to add more human figures in this particular drawing. I mean. you can show many more human figures over here as well is tarah se jo they are interacting with each other you don't have to add every uh, everyone's face but you know you could have more interactions plus uh, I, re i really like the way he has used this architectural element so he get a brownie point definitely for this particular one also uh, abhay there is a very beautiful joke that you have pulled in this drawing uh, if you thought that i wouldn't notice i definitely noticed it it's very smart uh, okay chalo well done well done very smart very smart all right chalo so i what i like about this particular drawing is that it has a sense of depth into it same as this one see when you are preparing for an architectural entrance exam your focus should not be on the human figures or should not be on the correctness of the uh, anatomical uh, uh, एनाटोमिकल करेक्टनेस पे फोकस होने से अच्छा तुम्हारा फोकस स्पेस पे होना चाहिए दैट हाउ कैन यू डिजाइन अ बेटर स्पेस इवन इन मेमोरी ड्रॉइंग एज वेल 
So if you see, this is not exactly a art gallery. This is a library by Bhumi Bora, again a student of mine. So you see, this one, this has a lot of space so that there is more interaction. So you have one human figure who is sitting here and reading. There is one human figure here. There are these two are looking in a for a book for a book in a different uh, altogether room this this girl is on another level you know uh, you have a chandelier you have lot of architectural elements also so this is something really really interesting so whenever you are going uh, for any memory drawing please focus on the space more rather than human figures okay space comes first then comes human figure then comes human figures it is in the priority list your priority should never be human figures and then space okay so this was the review of the drawing set 0 jo maine tumko pehle diya tha 31st may ko now for the next video uh, you have this drawing set so in a 2d composition you have composition using geometric elements such as square triangle hexagon so there is no uh, specific mentioned geometrical elements you can use whatever you want even circle semi circles they are all geometric as well also uh, but they have given warm colors so that that is something that you have to go with secondly uh, uh, 3d composition says seven cylinders of various size so there is specific they have specified only one type of element but you have to make changes in sizes and uh, mostly sizes okay so thin thick tall short use them memory drawing uh, draw up in pencil sketch of a of your dream house so if you are wondering about do you, if you would uh, if if you should draw a interior scene or an exterior scene that is up to you you have to decide what you want to do and uh, you send it to me by 5th of june 12 noon so that i can do the reviews again i would suggest that you send as many drawings as possible because uh, then i can select key if there is a bad drawing so i will choose that for to point out a particular thing or there is a good drawing then that i will choose uh, to show that okay this is a good drawing this is a bad drawing so send as many drawings as possible i mean obviously one person will do only one set of drawing but jitna zyada log karenge utna hum zyada seekh payenge isse and uh, yeah so this is the review of your first test and we will start with the mini test now okay chalo guys so we will start the test now uh, you know the drill each slide will stay for 15 seconds and then it will go to the next slide uh, if you want more time for the question please pause it and then go on except for the 10th question uh, complete the test and we will discuss it tomorrow uh, drawings bhej do mera number hai whatsapp ka niche uh, description mein diya hua hai uh, chalo so that's been my time today take care i'll see you soon